Okay, I'm going to do a wild camp tonight. Just finished work, it's about four o'clock. It's meant to rain in the next hour or so. So I might get a bit wet going to my camping spot. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to be at this point. But yeah, I'm going to pack up, get out, pitch my tent somewhere, chill and read. Don't know what to have for tea. But yeah, I think I'll work that out on my way. So I'm out, not doing too bad on time. It's just gone half as four. I'm gonna walk until I find somewhere I want to wild camp. But I just noticed these wild flowers. I'm not sure what they are, I need to check my book. No, I think they're some kind of orchid. But yeah, I'm gonna walk now until starting to rain but not too bad. I'm actually going to find somewhere to pitch my tent to get in and relax before the serious rain starts if it does. Not a massive wild meadow but I think these are like maybe like Spanish bluebells. I'm not sure what the white flowers are. They're everywhere. I can hear the river down there. We should be, because it's raining, be quite a bit higher. So I'm quite excited for that. And I love how untouched this forest is. Like there's so much moss everywhere, like all on these rocks, and like on some of the trees. And what I like about down here, it's further upstream, there's an old mill. It's not new to it anymore, so it was converted into a house. But it's still got the old kind of, the river's been like walled. I'll try and get some good shots of it if I can, but no, it's super interesting. Yeah, these were the walls that I meant. Like they've been here for I guess over a hundred years, but all the moss and fern and the ferns have grown over them. But there has been some kind of this has been built specifically, I guess maybe the river was a lot bigger back then and it needs is it dredging? But yeah, there's definitely some kind of wall that was here and it goes all the way up there. Man, I could just so easily fall asleep. Actually, I think I will probably fall asleep quite well tonight, listening to the lovely bubbling brook and all the rain in my tent. Eight days.
straight at work so I am pretty ready for bed. really cozy in here. That rain probably sounds really loud. I think I could nod off pretty easily. As much as I love cow bike camping or sleeping without a tent, when I do sleep with a tent it just feels so cozy. <sighs> yeah, funny thing, last time when I went wild camping I forgot my gas. This time I forgot a lighter. So I can't really, well, I could sleep the pot, yeah, at least it won't be as bad as the hot chocolate, slash cold hot chocolate. But yeah, I've got some porridge, pre-made porridge, sugar, and there's some powdered milk in here. So I can still eat this, it just won't be that warm, but I don't really mind. I'm going to relax and read. Tonight I'm reading... How to Save the World for Free. I think it's my seventh book I'm on this year, which is really good for me. So yeah, exciting. And probably catch up in my journal. 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 So yeah, I am pretty ready for my next four days off. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna go foraging with some friends. I'm going home for my sister's birthday. We're going to help my parents pack up their house, see my grandma's, and maybe squeeze in a bit of work on the tiny house. And also, I need to sort out my garden because all my seedlings have started to grow. So, that's something else I really need to do. So, yeah. Angle makes my tent look massive. <laughs> Here is my porridge, sugar, and powdered milk. I'm just gonna add some water and it'll be fine to eat.
Well, good morning. As usual, it's, it's always quite a short but sweet wild camp, mainly because it's raining and it's quite wet, and also because I agreed to meet some friends to go foraging very soon. So I got to head all the way back up the valley, get back, have a shower, put my tent out to dry, and then yeah, go forage. Hope you enjoyed this little video. It's just a very nice, simple wild camp just to get out of the house, basically. And it's so nice to sleep next to this bubbling brook. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. I don't know what that one will be. Maybe a garden related one. I have been neglecting my plants quite a bit and I do need to get them planted out. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a good one. And these bluebells look amazing and I'm gonna find out what the little white flower is but when I get my own land I so want a wildflower garden In a ring, or at least a partial ring. Partial okay. ring. To check it's not one of the poison spines, the moment which I can't pronounce. I don't it. think they grow at this time. The latter has a yeah, care must be taken not to confuse it with the highly poisonous. Okay. And there's bruise there. <laughs> it's not red, is it? Well we can we can take it back. Gorgeous mushroom. Wow. Look at that, that's a perfect specimen there. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Can you Probably this is the one to do is like a bit of corn flour and then mm. fry this mother up. Yeah? Yeah. Hell yeah! Like that. I found what would be fast as um, regular field marks in a field. I know what I'm going to. I know about the secret. 